Welcome everyone. We'll learn halacha on the laws of uh, sorting on Shabbos boiler. So we previously learned that it's not uh, it's forbidden to sort on Shabbos. Uh, if you have a mixture of uh, things that you like to eat and things that you don't like to eat, you should uh, take what you want, but not uh, you shouldn't be putting aside the things that you don't like, meaning to make a pile of the things that you don't like. And if you do that, that's considered, um, that would be considered sorting. So the malacha of sorting is not only with, um, with food, as I just mentioned, it's also with clothing or other objects. And therefore, clothing that are that are mixed and you are interested in taking one garment out of this whole pile you should take out what you want and don't start putting things aside and this is what I like this is what I don't like make two piles of things that you want and things that you don't want and also it says you should only take out what you want for that specific use for that moment um, don't uh, you're not supposed to be putting things away for later time. So clothing that are mixed together and he doesn't want to use them right now. Uh, so he's not allowed to start organizing them and putting them in their place because sorting for if there is no need, immediate need, is forbidden. But to put them in the closet without sorting them is permissible because there's no prohibition of, uh, there's no problem with sorting. It's not sorting, you're just placing it in the closet. Similarly with um, cutlery, uh, spoons and knives, forks that are mixed together and you want to set them, you want to organize them at the table, you want to set the table, for the Shabbos meal it says you should do it right before the meal. Because if you would do it uh, too early, it's uh, called the sorting not for a specific need. And therefore you should not sort the uh, knives, the forks, after washing them in order to place each one, uh, to place them in, in their place. You're allowed to take them to, um, to dry them and to to place them in one place and then and then um and and even if you take one each e you take each one you dry it and you put it in its place it's not a problem but trying to s start making a pile of forks piles of knives piles of spoon that would be prohibited and similarly with books that are mixed together and he wants to take one out of them you should take that book that he wants to use right now but he shouldn't take a book that he wants to use for a later time. Uh, similarly, you're not supposed to organize books and to place it, uh, to put them in their place because it's going to be sorting not for a, an immediate need. So we would see this um, concept of sorting for immediate need coming again and again. So we should remember this rule not to do any kind of, of sorting if it's not uh, for immediate need. Um, if you want to organize the table and to remove the books from the table, to, from the table, you're allowed to take the books without sorting, uh, one book at a time and place it, uh, put it back in its place in the, in the um, bookshelves. Um, toys that are all mixed together, you're not allowed to organize them on Shabbos and to place each one in its uh, appropriate place because again it's a uh, sorting not for immediate need but to place them in the closet without sorting is permissible book and will learn to uh, will continue with tanya shortly